Do you like Jesus movies? Filmmaker Paul Verhoeven is a Dutch director of blockbusters, such as Robocop, Total Recall, Basic Instinct, and Showgirls. The guy who's the movie director who directs trashy movies. I mean, really trashy Hollywood stuff. Paul Verhoeven. Verhoeven also holds a master's degree of New Testament from the University of Amsterdam. He once came to a meeting of a group of scripture scholars in Sonoma, California. Verhoeven explained he wanted to form a group of elite scholars as consultants for his upcoming biographical movie of the life of Jesus. Said Verhoeven, I want this to be the most historically accurate movie ever made. A bargain was struck. Richard Rohrball was asked to be the social science anthropology scholar on the committee. At the first meeting, brainstorming ideas for the film, Dr. Rohrball asked the director, the Jesus in this movie gonna be a Westerner or a Middle Easterner? And Verhoeven said to me, oh, no, 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 no blonde hair, blue eyes. I said, that's not what I mean. I said, is he going to be a Middle Eastern macho male? And Verhoeven said to me, oh, my God, no, that would never sell in the United States. You want to guess what my reaction was? I <laughs> bet. I told him, go to hell, I quit. <laughs> the Jesuses we see in films tend to be congenial to American culture. That includes poorly executed recent offerings like The Chosen. While it is important that Jesus not be confused for being a European male in appearance, and we're all aware of the fact that, you know, in, in the typical Hollywood Jesus movie, he was blonde and blue-eyed. Uh, so help me God, in the King of Kings, when he's on the cross, his armpits are shaved. <laughs> I mean, it's totally nonsensical stuff. It is even more important that he not behave culturally as one. But Americans want a Jesus who is American. The theological significance of that statement cannot be overestimated. United States people become profoundly disappointed when they discover that the historical Jesus wasn't buying American values. The same thing can be said of a Christian from the Ivory Coast, or of someone from an Asian country, or from Colombia. We need a Jesus who is like us need like the way a crack addict needs crack. Watch your ethnocentrism. We need a Jesus who is like us. There is almost no culture on earth other than the US that would sing the song, what a friend we have in Jesus. And beware a congenial Jesus. Most United States Christians, Catholics included, like most Christians everywhere, exaggerate the divinity of Christ and forget about his humanity. We tend to think of Jesus as God disguised as a man. On the rare occasion United States Christians, Catholics included, do think of Jesus in a human way, we invariably think of him as an American, acting and reacting, thinking and speaking with American cultural values. It can be quite shocking for many United States Christians to realize Jesus was not an American. If Jesus begins to look like an American to you, something's wrong. If you think you can understand Jesus, but have difficulty understanding Yasser Arafat, Muammar Gaddafi, Saddam Hussein, and Osama bin Laden, I think that's quite incredible because all of these men come from the same part of the world where culture has not significantly changed for 4,000 years. 
No, these men don't share the same ethical concerns Jesus had. They are not of the same socioeconomic distinction, nor do they share Jesus' nonviolence. But the cultural values are the same. Beware a congenial Jesus. Do you want to get to know the real Jesus? It's messy, folks. Like love, it's messy. You guys all know the word association game. If I say a word, what do you associate with it? Uh, a poll was done a little while back by a researcher actually from Johns Hopkins University in which he, uh, he, he played the word association ga game with the word Jesus in a variety of cultures around the world. And so he asked Americans, when the word you hear the word Jesus, what associations come to mind? Forgiving, kind, patient, merciful, tender, right? Same question asked of Middle Easterners. Harsh, judgmental, angry, tough. Uh, I forgot the last one. But do you understand the point? All right.